Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our main fuel table as well as programming our fuel injector data. So when we're doing our tuning and our fuel side of things with our FT Manager software, we're gonna find once we jump into our table, we have the option to do a basic or an advanced mode. The basic mode is gonna be a two-dimensional table that's gonna be really limited in going and having a lot of resolution for doing our tuning. I'm gonna be showing you how to put it into an advanced mode to put it in a three-dimensional table. We'll find it's gonna be based on load and engine RPM. And then I'll go through and show you some general editing techniques with the actual fuel table itself and how the fuel calculations are going to be performed. Uh, we'll find that this is a time-based fuel strategy, and we're going to find that the injector data is going to be just going and adding on top of the table. I'll expose all that so it's very clear how it's going to be working in the video. So you have a very clear idea of how to go in and work with the main table, as well as going in and program the fuel injector data. It's going to be a little bit different than other standalone systems. So we're going to take a look at all that in this video. Without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our main fuel table as well as our injector information uh, in this video. So the last video, we created our base map. We used that base map generator, we entered in all of our information, and now we have our map that we've actually created. But we need to understand some of the basic things that are going on in the software here if we wanna edit things such as our fuel table or making sure that we have our injector information entered correctly because it's very easy uh, to not have it enter correctly. That base map generator uh, generated some generic values and some generic data that may not work for the injectors that we're using. So we have something like an FIC or injector dynamics that has actual injector data available. We can actually input that into our software to program uh, to control those injectors properly. So let's jump into our main field table here and talk about this. It's actually really simple, uh, but there's some things that we need to know, editing it as well as how the fuel, fuel strategy is gonna be working. So looking at our map, we're gonna find it's gonna be based on our load input here on our row axis, map pressure based. Uh, we're gonna find that we could change it to throttle position based, but in most cases we'll have it here on map based. We also find we have engine RPM here on our column axis. Um, we'll find that's pretty standard. So this three-dimensional table is standard. The last video when we created our base map, it was starting off with the basic mode. It was only a two-dimensional table. We had to go into the advanced mode and then allowed it to open up here a three-dimensional table for editing. So we do have our primary tables for our main fuel table and then our secondary table for our secondary injectors. They're gonna be adding fuel uh, when we wanna get into boost essentially for this application. We're assuming it's a four-cylinder turbocharged drag engine. So taking a look at our table here, um, we're gonna find the values, we're gonna see in this default uh, uh, configuration here, are gonna be set in milliseconds. This is gonna be our injector pulse width. So looking at this, uh, the way the fuel tech's gonna work and the way the fuel strategy is gonna be working, it is a time-based fuel strategy. And we actually covered 